this morning. A police-involved shooting in the Bronx has left a suspect hospitalized in critical condition. Police say the suspect opened fire on three officers. CBS 2's Christina Fan joins us live from the scene in the Melrose section. Christina? Good morning, Cindy. Those three officers were in uniform and on patrol near 3rd Avenue and 153rd Street early this morning when they saw two suspects spray painting graffiti on a storefront a few blocks down this road. You can see police are still out here this morning investigating and searching for one of the men who ran off. Officers say the other suspect also took off running this morning, but officers were able to catch up to him and while trying to arrest him, he allowed allegedly pulled out a semi-automatic handgun and fired at least three rounds. The police returned fire, striking that man multiple times, and he has been taken to Lincoln Hospital, where he is now in critical condition. Police also say they have recovered the suspect's weapon. A 22 caliber semi-automatic handgun was recovered at the scene of the shooting. The suspect's gun does appear to have been shot and damage during the exchange of gunfire. Tonight's shooting underscores the dangers our brave cops face every day as they keep the people of the city safe. Whether they are stopping someone who is making graffiti or responding to a known shooting, there are just way too many guns out on the streets nowadays. And this is another look at that gun that was recovered and used by the suspect. You can see it is in pieces, shattered by the exchange of gunfire. The three officers involved in the shooting were taken to a local hospital, checked out, and were told all three of them were fortunately uninjured. And again, police back here at the scene tell us that they are still searching for that second suspect wanted in this police-involved shooting. We're live from the Melrose section of the Bronx. Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. Christina, thank you.